<laughs> hey everyone, so welcome to the final video of this uh, video series and so far we've been giving you some tools and strategies to help you with the day-to-day -day issues around co-parenting with a narcissist but we do appreciate that not one size fits all and we've, we've barely touched the surface on some of it so we wanted to talk to you about our circular security parenting program and how that can help you with more of your sort of personal issues that are going on within this and give you a more tailored and bespoke way to manage but also a framework within you within which you can co-parent from a much more confident and heart-centered place which I know is where you would all like to be coming from so Una can you just tell us a little bit more about what people get out of the circle of security parenting program mm -hmm. yes sure so you know there's lots of things lots of things come to mind and I would like to start by acknowledging that you know what you're going through right now you probably would not choose for yourself in a million years and there are so many things that you just can't control and you know it is about damage limitation and so circle of security program helps you to shift your focus onto those things that you you can control and you can influence and really use your time your energy in the most efficient way possible that sounds incredible because that feeling of everything being out of your control is is so scary and overwhelming so being able to bring it back in and focus that's such a powerful tool for many parents in this situation what else can they expect to to mm -hmm. grow from and learn from in the circle of security yeah and you know i think it, it it grows from there even if there are even if you can control five percent of the situation and hopefully it's more just focus on those five percent and that's what will help you to do and by doing that just by experience of doing that what happens you feel more empowered more empowered and more confident in your role as parent because just from that experience your trust grows that what you do matters you can make positive difference for your children wow i've got goosebumps with that because i think so often what people are dealing with is that constant external voice telling you you're not good enough belittling your parenting trying to create that conflict so be able to being able to have this this framework and this understanding of how actually that could all go on and that's not great mm -hmm. and we wish it was better but it is what it is this is my bit this is the bit and I'm going to get really good at this bit <laughs> so exactly. that no matter what they say I know that this bit is mine I've nailed it and I think that shift will be so powerful for so mm -hmm. many people what else <laughs> <laughs> so you know as you say there are those voices that come from the inside and then there is this you know your bubble with your child and there's so much advice out there that they say put your children's needs first <laughs> and that sounds very good but you know what does it actually mean like okay I want to do that but what am I supposed to do <laughs> Because there is no right answer for everyone, because all children are different, all situations are different, children change and grow, situations change, and then so as the parents, as parents were constantly adapting, and what I love about cycle of security parenting, it's not telling you do this or do that. You know, you, you could look at it as a course in observing children and understanding what their behavior, what their emotions are telling us about what they need. And so when you do have this framework and, you know, when we facilitate this course, what we want to do, we want, like initially we help you to decipher those messages, what's underneath. But through the whole process of the course we want to enable you to do that for yourself so that in between the sessions after the course you can just sit back and be like okay what does that mean what does my child need from me right now in this moment as you're saying that I'm immediately thinking about people that are 
within either the court process or have court ordered contact and between um the child and the parents and thinking yeah that ch- do what's um best for the child or mm-hmm. in, meeting the child's needs yeah you know it's banded around a lot but actually when you're dealing with someone who isn't necessarily capable or or isn't meeting that child's needs the way you believe they should be met there's this conflict so having this which is okay this is my way of meeting my child's needs it takes out other people's narrative it takes out what the court might think child's needs are takes out what your exes might think the needs are and actually it just allows you to focus on what you know your child's needs are within the time that you're with them which takes away so much of that that worry and that um misunderstanding around all the different versions of the child's best interests and what the child needs so it's a really powerful way of like cutting through all Mm. of that so amazing is there anything else you'd like to share with us about well you know and as you say um it gives that confidence of knowing what to do and knowing why you do it. But the thing is, with atta- and um, with attachment, it's not rocket science. You know, it can get complicated when we're in difficult situations, when we get also told all different things. But it really honors the wisdom that is written in our DNA. Like as species, that's how we survive. That's how we survive for millions and millions of years. You know, you know, that's what we share with all other mammals, you know, creating that connection with our children and helping feel helping them feel safe and helping them master the skills that they need to master to be successful in life. So having circle of security parenting course gives you an an understanding of helps you put into words what you're doing you know what you know intuitively why what you're doing is right it gives you an explanation that is backed by 30 years of attachment research but then also you know again it's not a situation that you want to be in but if you are in a situation where you have to explain to somebody why you're doing what you're doing and why you think that choice is the best for your child then you have the words you have the vocabulary you can talk about it and you can back it up I think for so many people that have been through this experience having not only the confidence within themselves like you say to go actually I do know how to do this Mm -hmm. despite what I've been told despite what you know what feedback I'm getting and maybe sometimes the relationship that I have with my child doesn't necessarily confirm what I know deep down but actually it's there and I'm growing in that confidence and then that knock-on effect on the outer world the relationships I think that's such a healing thing across the generations because we don't end up in these situations by accident and so being able to take a look at these principles these like you say these natural human evolutional theories that have bound us to each other and formed the basis for relationships being able to look at ourselves within our family of origin as well as looking forward to what we're creating helping our child to create is Mm -hmm. is such a powerful healing part of the process when you've been in these anti-attachment relationships really um so I, it, it just sounds incredible so what's the next steps for people if you know everything we've said is going yep yeah, that's right yeah. that's exactly yeah. where I'm at and what I need to do how do they go about looking up circle of security so I think Sarah you've been sharing links and there'll be links somewhere around there so absolutely go and check out this information get in touch with me for a free initial consultation if you have any questions um, I'll be very happy to make time to answer them to talk about it and just to echo what you're saying Sarah you know I think culturally as as humanity we're going through such a massive shift of healing our relationships so the first uh, version of circle of security parenting has been it's only 2010 that it has been released so our parents 
did not have access to that information. They were actually were getting very different advice, you know, you know, feed your babies on schedule and, and so on and so on. And now we know, you know, like, listen, attune, look out, try and understand what children are saying. So, you know, I think, of course, when situations are difficult, it can be a lifesaver. But I believe that we all need that. And I definitely echo to what you're saying about this healing for us, for our children, and just that just ripples through generations before us. And of course, of course, for the ones that are coming after us. Really powerful stuff. And for those of you that are intrigued, but not 100%, we have recorded a webinar as well. Um, that if you, oh, damn it. <laughs> But so yes for those of you that are interested I will pop the link below um for you to have a look at what we're offering we'd really love to see you on the next circle of security parenting course um we know the power that it has and we are excited to be able to share that with you so thank you Una for sharing your wisdom and thank you to everyone who is watching take care everyone bye-bye take care bye